Welcome back to Birth TV. My name is Chris. I'm a registered dental hygienist and proud birth ambassador. Are you expecting? Know someone who's expecting? Are you wondering what is and not safe during pregnancy? Was going to the dentist even on your list? Should I wait for all my dental treatment until after I give birth? There are so many questions to ask and it's not unusual for our patients to wonder what is safe for them and for their expected little one. So I've compiled a list of commonly asked questions about dental procedures and pregnancy. So I hope these questions will give you the ease of what to expect when you're expecting at the dental office. Here we go. First one, is it safe to go to the dentist during your pregnancy? Absolutely. It is perfectly safe to have routine dental visits and specialty dental procedures to keep you and your baby safe. And I will go into reasons why in the later questions. Are x-rays safe? The short answer is yes. Most offices are doing digital x-rays, so digital x-rays has a very low dosage of radiation, so it is completely safe for you and your baby. But always let your dental professional know that you are pregnant and we'll take care of the rest. There are lead aprons that can cover you from neck to your abdomen to keep you super safe. Is it safe for me to get a dental procedure? Yes. According to the American Pregnancy Association, they do recommend having any dental procedures done during your second trimester. It is perfectly safe to also get any dental procedure in your first trimester as well. But during your third trimester, it does become a little uncomfortable to lie down and recline all the way back. So that's why they do recommend getting it done either your first or your second trimester. Is dental anesthesia safe during pregnancy? Yes. Certain dental anesthetics such as lidocaine and prilocaine are perfectly safe to use during pregnancy and they are FDA approved. Can a pregnant woman have a tooth pulled? Well, it's always good to ask your dental professionals what is going to be a priority before and after your pregnancy. If it is something that's going to lead to tooth, tooth decay or an infection, then go ahead and talk with your dental professional and you probably want to get that tooth pulled out because we just don't want you to be keeping that around in your mouth and letting it just progress and get worse and worse and to the point where you're uncomfortable. Is morning sickness bad for my oral health? When it comes to morning sickness, it is very common for women to experience erosion. So erosion is a condition caused by constant acidity in the mouth. It is very important to avoid any toothbrushing immediately after vomiting because your mouth is super vulnerable to all the stomach acids and toothbrushing or anything abrasive like that is gonna cause harm to your enamel. So instead, Take a diluted solution of water and baking soda and rinse with that to help neutralize your oral cavity. My gums are bleeding. Do I have gum disease? Well, feeling like you have really sensitive gums or you're having inflammation is very common in pregnancy. Our bodies are changing. The hormones in our body is changing. So the hormones can actually heighten the response to bacteria in our gums. And that can cause, and that can lead to bleeding or inflammation or sensitivity. So it's very important to always stay on top of your oral hygiene at home. Brush, floss, and rinse. Especially with a non-alcoholic rinse, something that's not gonna dry out your mouth or irritate your gums. Also, with pregnancy, you're gonna have increased cravings in sugary foods or drinks, so it's really good. It's really important to moderate or just lower the amount of snacking during the day. Also, stay super hydrated. It's very important to keep yourself hydrated and produce some moisture in your mouth. Will I lose a tooth with each pregnancy? Yes and no. So, like I said earlier, it is important to brush, floss, rinse, you know, moderate your snacking, drink lots and lots of water, go to your routine dental visits, and you're in good hands. You're at a low risk of having tooth decay or any infection. 
But if you know you need treatment and you've just been putting it off for years, you have an infection, you've just been taking antibiotics and you'll you know take care of it later, you're not doing yourself a favor. Go ahead, go to your dentist, make sure that you know you have any necessary treatment that needs to be completed before it gets worse. Because what we don't want to happen is that tooth or teeth to sit there and you know, eventually get worse to the point where you're uncomfortable. So let the dental professionals take care of you and your teeth so you can focus on what's important in your life, like giving life. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful in regards to pregnancy and dental related topics. If you have any questions, drop them down below in our comment section and make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you're always notified on any new videos. And congratulations to any new mamas out there. And we will see you next time on Burst TV. Bye, y'all.